Let's get the details from financial expert Nicole Lappin. So, good morning to you. Very good morning to you. Numbers. Well, the problem is that we were expecting 405,000, and 414,000 means that in the private sector and in the public sector, 414,000 people were fired. So you're thinking, okay, we just had a hurricane, so there's probably a hurricane effect. There's actually no evidence that the hurricane dug into jobs whatsoever. So we were expecting it to stabilize, but that just means the pressure is on for President Obama to swoop in and help us with his big jobs back that is supposed to be unveiled in just hours. Yes, and it will indeed be. Let's talk about Facebook. New report out. Uh, somebody who's doing very, very well. That's right. The money just rolls there into that company. There are jobs at Facebook. Yeah. $106 billion. And that's what 500 million in profits. Just profits. Wow. There. Now, there and are there private, he is. There How old is. is he now? Like 14? I'm joking. Maybe 15 yeah. at this point. But, you know, look, so it's young. a private company, so they're not supposed financials, but the financials have kept cropping up and we're expecting this growth to continue. 4.05 billion next year, 5 billion uh, in the year after. So remember a couple of weeks ago we talked about the new big number of active users? Do you remember what that was? It was like 750 yeah. million. Now we're talking a few weeks later, it's 1 billion users. Wow. So a lot of that is being driven there and we're expecting them, you know, we talked about them going public potentially next year. Look at what the market is doing. You need a value every time you look at the marketplace right now. We're off only slightly because we did have some good trade numbers out this morning, but Zynga is delaying their IPO, so I wouldn't be surprised uh, if Facebook delayed some of it, uh, right. those plans as well. Nicole Lampin, always good to see always you. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Chris. Thank